Yo, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're back playing some more Planet Zoo, or at least you guys are back with me playing Planet Zoo. So, um, you'll notice things are a little different since the last episode. For starters, we're now in year 19. Um, and what else is going on? Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of more cages over here. So... Long story short, also, oh my gosh, can you guys stop breaking this crap for me? But anyways, long story short, we were kind of just letting things ride there for the longest period of time because we we're trying to essentially pay off um, our first loan, our, I think, $20,000 uh, loan. And eventually it got to the point where we were just losing money pretty consistently. Like, it was getting to the point where I'm like, we're going to run out of money. There's no way that we can avoid that. So I was like, screw it. If we're going to go down, then we're going to go down um, the hard way swinging. So we ended up taking the $50,000 loan and then paid off the $20,000 loan. Used the extra money to start building additional cages. I think at that time I probably only built two or three and the plan was to just start selling off as many animals as possible and hopefully with the, the additional people coming in and stuff like that, life would be a little bit better. Um, eventually as you can see, we ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different cages with nine different animals. The thing is, my gosh, never take a loan in this game. Specifically the $50,000 loan we ended up taking that and it got to the point where it was like we were paying so we were paying the bare minimum on this and you can see total interest is up to $200,000 so we were it was going to take us like 136 years to pay this one off paying just the minimum I was like oh my gosh so we just had to ride things for the longest freaking time before we were able to just buy the $20,000 interest and pay that off we basically have done really good job just oh my gosh and then the thing is we also ended up firing like half of our staff um we did end up throwing an information booth i think that's the only other building um we ended up getting some additional staff hired um and i basically did that once we got all the loans paid off but it just took us a long freaking time of just basically having the game on triple speed just to try getting everything paid off so i'll go ahead and kind of show you guys everything that's going on in here i know there's some of these roads that literally don't connect i mean they connect here i mean i could just delete some of these i might as well delete them the other thing we ended up doing is we ended up throwing a bunch of freaking donation boxes down and i think that actually was a really good idea because um <clears throat> i noticed a pretty steep incline uh as we started like in our income as soon as we started getting all these extra donation boxes so i think that turned out to be a really good idea for us um that looked like all the extra stuff so anyways let's take a look at all these guys these were the main mvp ones here the uh centipedes these guys were seriously like the major mvp MVPs. You can only have two of them at a time. Um, I ended up naming all of our parents, dad and mom. Just because we kept ending up selling a bunch of uh, 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 critters and I couldn't remember which was which like the name So I was just like all right name them dad and mom But anyways, they ended up having ridiculous amount of kids and all their kids ended up I'm um, selling for pretty decent. Uh, then we have the uh, the gill monsters over here uh, Let's see you're a little thirsty right now. These guys are pretty okay They sell pretty decently, but they can't have too many inside their enclosure um, But yeah, they're okay value uh, then over here. We had the uh, death adders these guys sell really really well so these guys also really helped us a lot the different snakes then over here we had some frogs the goliath frogs these guys were okay they weren't really that big of a deal they didn't really help us i think they can only have two yeah they can only have two in that cage so yeah yeah then we have the uh the iguanas over here these guys are pretty nice as well they sell pretty well um then the other mvps were probably these wandering spiders which might have been some of the later ones um but these guys they have babies pretty often and um yeah they sell pretty well these guys are probably like the best value we had um they just start popping out a bunch of babies and been making us a lot of money uh then let's see we got the bird eater popping out over here this is another spider where are you at buddy oh i see you you're tiny i think that's you i think that's you you guys are really tiny oh no no there he is he's a little bigger than i want to give him credit for i can't really zoom in anymore there you go oh yeah see they're all there Ugh, creepy spiders then we got some more sna uh, snakes over here the boa constrictor those guys sell okay and then we have the frogs over here which i think we had originally and um they pop out babies pretty often but their babies just are not worth a lot so i don't know if these guys were really worth the investment that we put into them but sure we had those guys popping out 
So we ended up removing uh, our animals from here. We have them in storage. I also ended up buying another Galarial. Um, I ended up removing them because A, we we're having to pay for it, but I didn't want them to grow older. As long as you keep them inside the trade center, they don't actually grow older, which was kind of the plan. I just didn't want them to sit here and get older since I wasn't uh, actually use like, since I wasn't running the game in full speed. So that's why ultimately I ended up just leaving them in storage. Um, we probably could have made a little bit more money if we had them out but i think it's okay so why is our fence all trashed here yeah why is our fence trashed i feel like this should have been repaired by now go go ahead and call the mechanic barrier stats is still pretty okay uh let's take a quick look at our finances so you will notice that our ongoing expenses here um this was the year that we well we ended up paying off the loan in like january last year but you can see we we're paying like seven thousand a year on the loan up repayment then another like 3k on just the interest which was ridiculous this was actually at like 5k for the longest time before we started uh popping more uh income per turn because the thing is if you're only paying the minimum you're just paying most of that minimum towards interest so you're basically never uh, uh, uh paying off the loan which really really sucks so we ended up having just enough cash on hand and we were selling enough of those guys that we could just basically uh kind of just roll um paying the max there for probably about five years and that allowed us to kind of catch up staff wages are a little more expensive you can see we ended up hiring a couple more people since then um we had been running everyone as cheap as possible uh, without them getting negatives. Actually, let's go ahead and bump you back up. Um, a thousand, maybe, I think is probably what's going to make you happy. Let's unpause the game real fast and see if this actually makes you happy. No, that doesn't make you happy. There you go. There you go. Something like that. Okay. Just trying to make him happy again because they work a little more efficiently while they're happy. Uh, let's see. What else do we have going on? Um, so that was pretty much all of our costs other than just like a few little minor costs. Now, the thing is, taxes are also a bit of a problem because we're spending about another thousand there. So, total expenses, we were paying about 9K. Now, last year, we ended up making 14K on the income. Ticket sales, we ended up bumping up. We're now at 10 and 7, which is really, really nice. Um, and I think everyone's paying to actually get into the park. So, we're making a decent amount of money from that. Um, donations are making us about 5K, which is pretty decent. Um, and then another 5K there. But then the biggest thing is we were making about another four. Well, we made 9K two years ago. Only 5k last year um and that was just selling off animals so as our animals were getting pregnant man we started making lots of money so if we can make about 5k there we can make let's see 14k here this 31 skewed because it's got the 21 so it was 14 so we made about 18k last year and we had to pay about nine so we made about 9k net profit last year which is pretty freaking good yeah pretty freaking good the biggest issue we have right now is the fact that our staff building is in here and it's very inefficient because it's really hard for our staff workers to get all the way over there so i think i am if i can get out of here there we go if i could pop out oh my gosh camera wow we're still broke there we go there we go i'm gonna go ahead and add another staff building here and quite frankly at this point we're just trying to survive so um versus actually make things pretty uh I, I i was looking at some of the comments for the first episode which came out and a lot of people are mentioning that um this game is definitely a lot harder now on uh the franchise mode than it was before which i agree like i think beta might have been maybe a little too easy but like it's kind of ridiculously hard now at this point so we're definitely struggling to kind of stay ahead uh the small little animal shelters i think is kind of your best bet to begin with um but we should have started by just building that and maybe one small cage this might just be too large of a cage but let's go ahead and throw our dudes back in here so because let's see let's see i could wait a couple more years and make a little bit more money but we learned a lot of hotkeys so um well never mind you can't select all on this menu can i do i have to really move them one at a time oh that sucks well a with the little guys you can actually uh, uh change them so you're in the trade center these guys weren't actually in the trade center. You're the only one in the trade center. Okay. So let's put them all here. We'll just get the delivery. Remember one of these guys? No, you just had the baby. You weren't pregnant. Um, but as soon as you grow up, we're going to have to get rid of you. Unless I want to, like, leave you around. I could theoretically just maybe leave you around. So I think all these guys are going to pop out there. Then let's go back here. Let's go to the species. Um, let's go get Galriel. Uh, and then, oh, we got the frozen blood pumpkin now. Eh, interesting. Yeah, we got the cooler. Do I have the food? No, I ended up deleting the food and water. 
So well, let's do this. I don't know if this costs extra money having more than one. Probably, but it is what it is. And then we're going to put the water in here. Dude, our dude is just like chilling right there, it looks like. We're still going to put three because this is a really ridiculously large thing. And then I will go ahead and put the uh, enrichments in here because why not? Do that, do that, do that, and then let's get you run in here. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's go ahead and unpause the game. Is our dude fixing it? Oh, he's fixing it. He wasn't just sitting there. It kind of looked like he was just sitting there, just to be honest with you. So... Hopefully all these enrichments and stuff like that's not gonna cost us too much money I really probably want to look at reducing this. We're only at 84 conservation credits I don't think we can afford crocodiles yet. Um, I've been saying hi to everyone that comes into Our place, but you know it is what it is. I like how this actually stays Yeah, this like completely stays um, Between saves which is nice. So the warthogs are very cheap I don't think I want a warthog, though. Yeah, and the peafalls as well. The ostrich isn't so bad. I mean, we could do warthog ostrich. I'm just going to have to make a decent size enclosure, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what the crocodiles are running right now. There's definitely an influx of animals on the market, which is kind of nice. All right, hit filter. So we could buy you with cash. Ooh. Ooh, they're babies. We wouldn't be able to sell them, but they're babies. We would be able to sell immunity is kind of bad, but I care more about the fertility. What is the average age? You know, I'm going to freaking adopt you. What's the saltwater crocodiles age? Because she was like, what, 27 saltwater crocodile. They got to live like 50, 60 years, right? Uh, 72 years. Okay. Okay. So that should be okay then. So essentially what we're looking for is a male. Because you're 27. You're still going to live for quite a few more years. So we're looking for a male that we can afford. And right now they're worth 100. So... Unfortunately, I can't get any more money for people entering my thing, so we'll just kind of let the game run. Um, I did get all this stuff replaced, right? Yeah, but you don't have any content right now because we're still waiting for the animals to get delivered. Um, here's the other problem. We currently have our security guard. Our only security guard currently has a work zone, and I think I want to reduce that. Oh, no, no, no. We Yeah, that's right. We ended up losing them. Yeah, we ended up... Um, Let's not talk about it. Uh, one quit. So, are we paused? <laughs> I was like, what the heck's happening right now? Why is the game not moving? Should we go speed three? Probably not right now. Okay, the Gariel's out. It's a little baby one. People were excited to see it. I will say a lot of different people were like, yeah, we're so excited to see the Gariel's. And I'm like, oh, sorry about that. You're, are you broke right now? Or what's happening? I have no idea what's happening. I don't know if that's currently working or not. Um, is the rest of these guys getting delivered? Is the question. I would hope so. Delivery scheduled. Delivery scheduled. I mean, I'm assuming the problem is we can only probably do one at a time. Because they have to go pick it up from the Trade Center and then go drop it off. And I don't think I have enough people for that. And in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up another Keeper. Um, because the Caretaker should be fine. Because we could always use more Keepers. Because we got to like um, basically uh, 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 keep these guys fed and stuff like that. And that's a bit of an issue. Oh my gosh, can you guys stop breaking my crap? This is the problem. Like, I think staff is maybe too expensive in the game right now. I think that's maybe the biggest issue right now is the fact that staff is not cheap. And so you spend a lot of money dealing with the staff, but you can't afford to not have staff. So it's kind of that weird aspect. Yo, are we going to go speed three? I guess we're going to go speed three for the time being. Maybe we should just leave the game on speed three because it is what it is. Now, I hate that there's a negative arrow there. I think we're still okay. We'll have to see like long term. 
Because, like, remember, we're also going to end up selling a bunch of these animals. And, in fact, one of the things we could do is we can just run through here and double check and make sure. Um, like, we don't need a second guy here. We can go sell you off. Um, just kind of running through and making sure that everyone is good. Some of these, and I just kind of know it off the top of my head, um, which ones can have more than one. I think you're good with a group of four, correct? Uh, no, you're not. You want to be a group of three. All right. So then in that case, let's go ahead and get rid of Maria. Send you to the Trade Center, and we're just going to keep popping this out every couple minutes or so, checking. Um, were you good with the group of five? I think you were, right? Yeah, you're barely good, but I want as many females as possible in these cages because I want to pop out as many uh, uh, kids as possible. So, you know, I think you're good with the group of three, and you're pregnant, so you're about to pop out some more. We have to keep an eye on the alerts up here to see when they actually have babies, which I've been kind of bad at that. Um, uh, then you were also good with the group of four. Yes, you guys are good with the group of four. So we can go ahead into our exhibit training and uh, so new animal has arrived. Cool. Quick trade, both of these. So the quick trade's a little weird where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work when you're selecting multiple ones. Oh gosh. Uh, I think someone just had a baby. I think someone just had a baby. Quick trade. Confirm. Animal's hungry. Animal's hungry, low welfare. Uh, the low welfare... Is that from too many kids? Yo. Yo, we're going too fast here. <laughs> this is a little easier when you're not trying to also talk. I think everything's okay. You're transporting. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. No, no, no. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think we had any extra babies yet. So you guys are just hungry. You just need to get fed. Um, our gallery owls are actually popping out now. Sweet. Their welfare should be fine. Hopefully, we can get some more females. Well, I mean, we bought the one extra female, so I think we have two females now to have potential babies. Um, one of them's a mother uh, already. Then the other one we just bought. So, are you the one that had the baby? Adulthood. I don't think she had a baby. You have decent fertility. Oh, oh, poison frog had... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, check the poison frogs. Let's get rid of some of the extras. Uh, just the one. So I'll just throw you there for now. Right. Yeah, we're up to 13,000. So we're making money. We're making money. Oh, you know, one thing I didn't do. I got to rebuild some of our donation bins up here because I ended up moving them. When we had absolutely no cash, I ended up moving them. So we saw that people like to hang out over there. So we're going to do this. Um, put these all over the place yeah i really would like to actually get these crocodiles popping out i think maybe even this episode if possible so i thought we were looking for mail yeah yeah, yeah. i'm on the wrong thing so up to 150 they're a little more expensive right now that sucks these guys are all low welfare is that because we have too many no we just need to take care of the cage did someone die in the cage or what it just needs to be cleaned it happens. It happens. It happens. Let's go speed two. I think speed one's maybe too or too slow. Speed three is probably too quick. So we'll keep that going for now. Remember, at some point, our baby's going to grow and reach adulthood. Which. Okay, we had another uh, kid. Adulthood's at 20. So we got a long time because I'm pretty sure there's still like one or two. Um, you had some babies. Sweet. Let's go ahead and sell off. I think you're good with a group of four. So you only had one baby? Nah, you need a group of three, so you had two babies. Okay, so we're going to get rid of Rosemary and Margarita. Rosemaria. And let's go exhibit trading, and let's start selling these guys off. So, like, we can sell these two, and then we will sell you. Didn't make a lot of money off of that, but that's okay. Um, I want to look at our animals again. Specifically, our baby Gariels. How old are they? One. So we got basically 19 years before they're going to um, start fighting the dad. Yeah. Yeah. What's the group size? So they're okay with big groups then. Hi, buddy. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, it's a rubbing post. He's rubbing on it. Here's the other thing that I'm just now realizing we're not actually doing. We're not doing research anymore. 
Yeah, we kind of stopped on the research because, well, we had a thousand other things happening. I actually don't have any veterinarians, so I probably should hire one, right? Let's hire a veterinarian. I'm just gonna put you right here in the cage. No. Uh, so yeah, let's get some veterinarians going, and let's actually get some vet research. And we're just gonna put you in, just try improving all of these different things. Alright, so now with the staff hut here, my hope is we're gonna be able to keep these shops up a little more often. See, the problem is, man, we're always, like, short a couple people, because they're always going and resting, and it's kind of annoying. Like, how dare you? How dare you? What's the efficiency on this one? It's inefficient. Okay. Wonderful. Oh no! Wandering spider died. Uh, which one was that? The wandering spider? I don't remember which one that was. Was that this one? I think that was this one. Yeah! Ah, crap. Um, so we need another wandering spider. Brazilian wandering spider. What is the population size? We should get rid of one of the females. So I'm gonna go dump you. And then let's go exhibit trading. Let's get rid of you. Let's go ahead and quick trade. We're gonna go here. We're going to search by Brazilian wandering spider. And I need a male, please. Uh, preferably a male that is very fertile. So we can pop out as many kids as possible. That'll work. Let's send a zoo. You go in there. Let's go. Have me more babies. Get me babies, please. So, these guys should be fairly happy. Like, the view and everything should be pretty good. Oh my gosh, can we please stop breaking everything? I need more freaking cops. Zoo tickets fair. No! My centipede died! Oh no! Man, dude, our centipedes have been clutch. Not even kidding. Our centipedes have been just absolutely baller. So, we need to go ahead and get another centipede. Um, I will actually isolate by centipede. Uh, is Amazonian giant centipede? Yeah, these guys just did really good work for us. 67%, 0%. Okay, congratulations. You are now going to be the one here. Um, now, what about the fact that the female is probably really old and is going to die? It is what it is. You know what? In that case, let's actually buy a female then. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy a female. 67%. So, let's go adopt you. We're going to send you to the zoo. And then, mom, congratulations. You're going to get sold. And then, you're going to become my new mom. Mom. And then, we're going to name the other one dad. Because, once again... Now, eventually, when we're making a ridiculous amount of cash, we're not going to worry so much about this. We're probably just going to put a bunch of males inside. And then... um. I'll sell you before you die. We'll just put a bunch of males inside or a bunch of females just so, you know, they can't have babies. But for now, we definitely want to keep them going. Inspector arrived at your zoo. Let's actually take a quick look at our zoo. Most appealing. Spotted protester. Frick. That's actually the first one we've gotten spotted by. Yeah. I wonder who's being protested right now. You think we need another keeper? I'm really wondering if we need another keeper. Our animals aren't popping up. Like, we don't have any animals right now suffering, so... I don't know, maybe we're good on keepers. How's our enclosure? Enclosure's good. I suppose the view's fine. Yeah, if only I had a great spot for views. If only it existed somewhere in the game. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Dude, I really want these saltwater crocodiles. See, I think I could definitely do the Gariels, like, maybe even, like, this much. They don't, they don't need that much room, man. They really don't. Is expecting offspring? Okay, that's fine. So, we're still looking for more crocs, please. 120. The price has gone up. That's unfortunate. How can I make more money? Well, as soon as our kids grow up, we can sell them off. But, obviously, that doesn't help us right now. Can I send you guys to the wild? Like... Would I get points for that? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. If I send them to the wild, if that gives us anything. So, this is kind of where we're at in the game right now, where we're basically just kind of chilling. I suppose we're making enough money that we can do some stuff. Maybe at this point I should start working on the fence. And do the crocodiles. Because why not? It's not like we're doing anything else. 
We'll put you there instead. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and start working on it because we're making decent cash. So in that case, give me the uh, chain link. Inspector report is ready for viewing. We actually made. So we'll do something like that. And we're basically just once again going to cut this in half. Uh, what did challenge did we finish? Uh, receive with a one star rating. Nice. All right. Well, we just made a free 2000. Okay, cool. Um, then I want the glass. Actually, the glass doesn't really matter. Ooh, so maybe I should do something harder so the crocodiles, because the crocs might actually bust through this. Yeah, so maybe I should do, like, wood blow. I mean, I definitely should do at least wood, I think, through here. The crocs aren't going to be that bad. That is not wood in the slightest bit. I think I'm going to replace all this with wood. Hi, wood. Wood. There we go. Because you don't really need to have a good view. Okay, so now we're on two separate cages. Let's, before we get too far, let's double check and make sure we're good here. Um, no. They need some more land area. They actually need a lot more land area. Interesting. So, in that case, we should go ahead and delete you, delete you. How much land area was this total? This is 4,700. They only need 258. So I think if we just uh, navigate this slightly differently, they'll be fine. Something like that should be more than enough land area then, right? That's only 79. Hmm. Well, our crocodiles are going to have a bit of a smaller area then. Unless we rework this side. What would be our other option? How could we give them more land area? I feel like you have more land area than it's giving you credit for. I really do. What if we change the terrain? You need some... Well, you have too much rock, actually. You need more sand. But now, the land's still not enough. You got plenty of water, so that actually maybe is our goal right there. Let's get rid of some of this water. Um, so we could actually just get rid of this, I think. Calculating. But that's all freaking land right now. How? What? That's land. That's not water, man. It got rid of the water. Uh, well, that's interesting. Uh, let's pull you up. Whoopsie. Hello. Let's kind of just get you up a little bit and see if this works. Calculating. Huh. I think we have a bug. Yeah, this feels like it's a bug. I mean, explain to me how it's not reading that as land. I don't understand. So once again, if we delete you, this guy just magically... Now he has 5,000. So how the heck, when I literally give you more than half the land, you don't have nearly enough? That's what's weird. That, that's what I'm saying. I feel like there is a bug or something. So the golden frogs had some more um, kids. So we can go ahead and start selling you off. Um, looks like you only had one kid, so we're just going to send you there. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Maybe, Maybe I need to change the barriers?
Like, how? How is that so much less land? Let's try this. I can't actually pull this up while the water is here. So let's do this. Let's do that, and then let's put the water back. Somewhere, if possible. And now it won't do the water. <sighs> Alright, well, this seems like it's going to be more difficult than it should be. Especially since I can't change you. Alright, well, let's go back here. Let's leave you as is. Uh, unbox animal. Unbox all animals. Hi, you're back here now. Did this change anything? What? How are you telling me you have no navigatable water? Okay, so clearly there's something going on here. Clearly there's something wrong here. Habitat cleanliness is added, uh, ooh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So I think you're broke then? Yeah, I need you to fix this as quick as possible. That's actually the first that's broken down. Uh, that research is complete. Sweet. This was our boa constrictors. All right, let's put you on uh, the Gila monster. Uh, you have a low welfare, which I find very odd. Very, very odd, because you have more than enough water. I, I don't understand. I really don't. What about these guys? Are they fine? Or are they broke? Let's try just re-delivering them and seeing if what happens. What the heck? Can he not? Oh. You think he can't enter the water? For whatever reason? You think maybe that's what's going on here? Feeding station. Oh, that's the blood pumpkin. I need to move you. Blood pumpkin, go over there. Uh, everything else over here is fine. I do want another water. And in fact, I'm just going to put you over here. And in fact, I'm probably going to put another food over here too. So I think that's okay. Um... Hmm, interesting. Um, what would that be under? Let's go here to terrain. Let's do the smooth. See if maybe that fixes things. Uh, where is it? Smooth. No, I actually want painting on sand, please. Auto paint. You selected. Not sure. Not sure at all what's happening. Yeah, I'm not sure one bit. Let's try pulling. Eh, see, that didn't do anything. So he's like just showing, like, I think we completely broke him. That's what it feels like. We just completely broke him. Critical size or crowding issues? Maybe... You know what? Maybe it has nothing to do with this. Maybe it has everything to do with, like, the fact that there's too many people in this cage. Maybe that's the particular issue.
So there's just too many in there, and so he wants that space. I think that might actually be what's going on here. So give me a little more rock, uh, terrain. Yeah, that might be it. So that's kind of unfortunate, because what does that mean? Well, that means we are um, not going to be able to put the crocodiles here. No. So maybe we should put the crocodiles over there. Maybe we should do something completely different with the crocodiles. Maybe we should do just like, I don't know. We're going to put a bunch of food here. I and mean, we kind of really just crapped ourselves out. So Brazilian wandering spider died. Also, we never got around to the fact that, um, who was it that we ended up getting the enrichment with? It wasn't you. Now, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have, like, 16 people in here. I'm pretty sure that makes you unhappy. Uh, population's ideal for three. So... We'll do that. And then you should be happy. Yeah, you're fine. The centipede, we're good on. You only have two. Okay. Uh, you guys... No, we didn't do the research there. You have four... Which I think is still acceptable. Yeah, four is acceptable on you. We hadn't done the research there. There's only two on you. Okay. Uh, we hadn't done the iguana yet. There's only two on you. Was it the spiders that we did the enrichment? No. Mm, we can definitely get rid of Marco. I think four is fine. Right? Yeah, four is fine there. I think five is actually okay with you. Where's this enrichment we did? Are you good with five? No, you're only good with three. So we got to get rid of a couple of the girls. So we'll do that and do that. Go out. Um, There's our enrichment. Boom. Bump that up. I don't know if that changes like how quickly they have babies or anything like that. Oh, we also finished you as well. Okay. Uh, and then you're fine with four. So we should go back here to research. And we can switch off the monster. No, we hadn't done the monster yet. Oh, uh, we must have finished that one earlier and never did it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go make some cash. Come down here. We would like to select all and quick trade, but no. Nah, for whatever reason, doesn't do that. Let's see if there's any that I can actually put into the wild, because I could use those points. Quick trade, quick trade, quick trade. They're all quick trade. So why when I hit select all, it told me something different? I don't know. All right, so we're making money there. So animal, we are still very much looking for a male saltwater crocodile. And they seem to be getting more expensive as the game goes on. <laughs> uh, why? Do we end up getting another mission? You know, maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do the Bengal Tigers. We could. How expensive are Bengal Tigers? Death Adder had Offspring. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, let's get rid of you and you. And I think four was fine here. So exhibit trading. Boom and boom. Yeah, why can't I release? Maybe because I bought them. I mean, I think it's because you bought them with money, but still. Uh, okay, we're looking at Bengal Tigers, please. Bengal, Bengal, Bengal. Saltwater Crocodile. Bengal Tigers, 300. Ugh. They're even more expensive. That sucks. Alright, well, we're gonna keep waiting for the saltwater croc, then. Hello, buddies. You're still happy, right? I think it's gotta be based on space. Like, it has to be based on how much space there was on the map. He could still use some more coverage, too. Yeah, we could definitely get some more coverage. So... What were these trees called? Kapox? K-A-P. K-A-P. Do that. Let's get a little bit more coverage going. He doesn't really need it, but... It's pretty. I like it. It works. Sounds good. These guys have low welfare. I think it's because there's four of them. There should only be two in here. Almost certainly. Yeah, population should only be two. So you just had kids... Okay, and we have even more men, which we don't want because we want the babies, not the men. Okay, there we go. So, yo, yo, quick trade. 
Boom. Okay, so we're making money. But we're kind of stuck. Because there's not really anything else we can do. Um, let's move this tree, because I don't really like how that looks there. That looks a little bit better. Um, I guess we could start working on our saltwater crocodile cage, but it just sucks because it's like... It's not exactly what I want. What about doing something in here? Well, you know what our other option is? We could just reset everything and just look at the cheapest. Which right now are the Indian Peafalls. Those guys are pretty cheap. Those guys are really cheap. No fertility. What the heck? You're at 100%. You're kind of bad everywhere else, but I still think I'm going to adopt you. Dang it. Someone else stole them. Is there anything more annoying than when people steal the animal from underneath you? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe we just do a peafowl cage. Like, we could actually put the peafowl just, like, right here, right as you enter the zoo. Um, yeah, that's going to be our lake eventually, our boat. And then this is going to be shops and all that. You had or you had some babies. Okay, uh, I think we're going to end up doing the peafowls in the next episode. So I'm probably going to spend some time off camera actually uh, adopting the peafowls. Um, you know, making sure that everything else is working right. The next episode, we'll go ahead and build our enclosure and stuff like that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Sweet. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. Um... We have some new stuff we can put down. That was for you. Boom, boom, boom. Get that layout just a little bit higher. Just to make them a little bit happier. Alright, I'll see you next episode. Bye, everyone.